Hi, this is David McCam for WebTNG. In this video, I'm looking at Breakdance 2.0. The Breakdance team has been working for some months on version 2, and it's going to have a lot of features. But in this video, I'm just looking at two important ones, the new migration mode and the new layout builder. I'm using an early version of 2.0 in the video, so note please that things might change slightly in the final release. The first new feature is a big one, and it's pretty cool. Breakdance 2.0 offers a migration mode option, so let's take a look at how it works. I have a website, and it's using the 2024 theme. It's built with a site editor. Now, what the visitor sees when they come to the website is they see the site built with the full site editor. What the migration mode feature does is it allows us to continue to show this version here built with the full site editor to visitors while on the back end we're able to rebuild the site using Breakdance. And then when we turn migration mode off, everyone will see the new site. So it's pretty cool. We don't have to rebuild the site in Breakdance using some staging site or testing site. You can see here in the video, I'm logged in to the site using the Brave browser. Let's just go look here at the themes. You see I'm using the 2024 theme. Okay, we look at the plugins, and you see I have... Breakdance 2.0 and I have the Breakdance migration mode. So that's the site using Brave. Now so that we can test that the migration mode is working and that visitors are still seeing the Gutenberg version, I've logged into a VPN using Firefox. Let's see, how can I show you this is Firefox? See, Firefox, right? And I've logged into a VPN here, and I'm viewing the website from Vancouver. This is what we're going to use to confirm that the migration mode feature is working as it's supposed to. So let's go back now, and what we'll do is we'll enable the migration mode plugin and breakdance. Okay, let's go and look at the settings here in Breakdance. Let's look at Migration Mode. I blurred out everything except the last three digits. So you can see this is a different IP address than the one in Firefox. And the way that the Migration Mode works is the IP addresses that are in this box here, these are the ones that will see the Breakdance version. And all other IPs will see the Gutenberg version as long as migration mode is activated. Another thing before we continue is let's go to the theme settings that we see that Breakdance has disabled the regular WordPress theme. And because we're going to be building the header and footer and templates and everything, those will all be handled with Breakdance. Now let's go to the home page. And we see, we no longer see that blue page created with Gutenberg. We're now seeing the blog archive. We already see a big change in the site now that we've activated Breakdance. Let's just check back now in Firefox. Let's do a refresh. And we still see the blue full site editor version of the site. So this is working. So for the sake of speed, I'm not going to create all of the templates manually. What I'm going to do is Breakdance has a design library, and we can import a design. Let's just import this marketing agency design. See, it's bringing in global settings, design presets, different pages and templates. And I'm going to go now and we'll go visit the front page to see what it looks like since we made our change. 
Okay, we still see the archive, but we have a different header now, and the fonts are different. Okay, and we have a different footer. Okay, so the design of the site has changed. Again, we'll go check in Firefox, different IP address, we'll do a refresh. We still see the Gutenberg version. So this migration mode is working. We can totally redo the site in Breakdance and visitors to the site have no interruption. Okay, now let's go and we'll turn the migration mode off. Things are the same for us here, logged in, but now if we go to Firefox and we refresh, now that we've turned the migration mode plugin off, we see the version of the site created with Breakdance. Very cool. This solves a big problem that WordPress site builders have because if you have an e-commerce site, you might have orders coming in. How are you going to handle it so that you don't lose those orders when you import your new design? Or maybe you've got a membership site or an LMS site where new users are signing up or they're going through their lessons and marking them complete. If you're not careful when you import your new design, you're going to overwrite all of those transactions and lose data, and that's not good. So Breakdance solves this problem. And I think now that we've seen this feature, it's going to be a feature that we expect to see in other page builders. Now, there are a couple of things I want to say about migration mode. The first is, as you can see, it's for migrating from another builder to Breakdance. It works with Elementor, Beaver Builder, and so on. But you can't use it to have two versions of the Breakdance site going at the same time. You can't have one version of the Breakdance site for the public and another one that you're working on behind the scenes. This is for migration from some other builder to Breakdance. So that's the first thing to keep in mind. And then the second thing to keep in mind is, you know, if on the front end for visitors, you're serving up the website, the Elementor or Beaver Builder site, to those visitors, you can't disable Elementor or Beaver Builder. Okay, those plugins still have to be active. And that means that there may be some CSS files or JavaScript files that are being loaded on the site even while you're working on it with Breakdance. So if there's something that's not coded well, you could have a CSS conflict or something like that. I didn't notice any problems, but that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so I think the migration mode plugin is very cool. I think a lot of Breakdance users, a lot of agencies and freelancers who are working with Breakdance are going to get good use out of this new feature. The second new feature in Breakdance 2.0 is a feature that's going to benefit every user of Breakdance. And that is that there's a new layout builder. Okay, before I show you the new layout builder, let's take a look at what the old one looked like. See, I'm on a different site here, and let's go to plugins. Here's Breakdance 172. So this is the old version. Let's go and take a look at the header. Okay, here we have two text elements. And if we go to layout, this is what the old layout options were. Okay, this looks like left, center, right, some vertical alignment options, a gap, and some horizontal feature here. Exactly how to use this doesn't look very intuitive. Now let's go to our Breakdance 2.0 site. So let's go here. You can see we've got 2.0. Let's go look at a header I prepared. Let's edit it and break dance. We have a link wrapper here. It's got two elements, an icon and a text element. This is kind of our stand-in for a site logo. But you'll notice that the layout isn't quite right. We want the icon and text to be horizontally aligned. 
So let's go look at what the layout builder in 2.0 looks like. Right away we see that the icons are more intuitive now. Okay, this would be stacked or column mode, you know, which is what it is now. And then you have your align controls and your vertical align and gap. Or row, which is what we want. So we could align at center and vertically align center and add a gap. See how easy that was. And there's another option here then, a simplified grid option. You can give the number of items per row, the space between items, and go in for other options there. So there's flex column, flex row, grid, and then there's a fourth option, which gives you the full range of CSS flex box controls. And there's a grid option, which gives you the full range of CSS grid options. So if you have a complex layout or you're used to working with Flex and Grid, you now have both of these included in Breakdance 2.0. However, I think that probably 95% of the time users are going to be able to use one of these intuitive options to achieve the layout they're looking for. This is the second feature in Breakdance 2.0 that I wanted to show you. It's a feature that obviously everybody who's building a site is going to use. It's A, more intuitive, and B, has the full advanced options available. Breakdance 2.0 has a large number of new features. I just picked two to show you in this video. If you're interested in learning more about the new version, then I encourage you to take a look at the announcement when it's released and to take a look at the change log so that you can see the full list of everything that's coming. Hope this video has given you some insights into the new version of Breakdance. If so, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.